made it. Woohoo! Karung La, the highest motor oil road in the world, according to some. So, Suraz and I are going to split. He's going to head back down to Lay. I'm going to continue down this way, pretty much as far as I can get. So, see what happens. Photo's done. Goodbye, said. Time to head down the mountain. I'm a run from a given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Pride. That's where I never thought it would matter. If I'm gone by. <laughs> Check this out. The road has literally had to be cleared of snow here. This is like 50 meters down from the pass. Bloody amazing, man. Check post, so I'll go and do my paperwork and we'll keep going. That was super quick, didn't even want my passport or anything, just gave him my permit, bike rego, and we're off. So I've come down out of the mountains, now in the Nubra Valley, and wow, <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's just like a uh, like a moon, really, or something. There's little pockets of vegetation, but other than that, it's like rock and dirt, and I parked in a very bad place. So there's 22 k's to go to Disket, where I find out if I can get more fuel or not. So I might. Get a move on, get there, and see how we go.
This good? Yeah, yeah. yeah service station for fuel, petrol. Petrol, yeah, yeah, just this way. This way? This way yeah. Wonderful, thank you so much. Definitely one of the most remote service stations I've ever been to, but all good. Uh, full tank of fuel again. I still have my 5 liter Jerry. Turtuk uh, is 80 odd k's away, so I reckon I can um, get there tonight. Just putting some sunscreen on because the sun is absolutely belting down. It's uh, quite hot now, actually. I rugged up for the mountains, I got a jumper, t-shirt, thermal jacket, these pants, thermal under, uh, thermal long johns, and yeah, I'm actually getting quite hot now, so I guess I better keep moving, get the wind, wind blowing, and uh, hopefully make it to Turtuk in the next couple of hours. Check this out. Five k's down the road, there were like those little uh, swampland, I suppose, marshes you'd call them. And now we've got sand dunes. This place is amazing. I'm really, really glad I made the decision to come out here. <laughs> so I got like 30 seconds up the road from when I last stopped. Check this out. Hey buddy. That's this two humped camel I was reading about in the Lonely Planet last night. He obviously belongs to someone. He's got a bell, a little number, and he's very tame. He's getting into these really prickly bushes. Must have a strong bloody mouth. Whoa. It's covered in bugs of some sort, but <laughs> how cool is that man? He's just having a little feed. I'll uh, let him do his thing now. Thanks, dude. Cheers for being a good sport and not trying to bite me or anything. You got some pretty crazy teeth on you. Ooh. Yeah, my man. All right, I better get going. Got to get to turtle talk.
had what I hope, I think, is the last checkpoint. About 30 k's left of Turutuk. Sun is going down, so I'm gonna have to try and put the hammer down a bit, I think, to um, to get there before the sun completely disappears. So, yeah, let's go. made it. Turutuk, the northernmost village in India. Wow, what a day that was. Got to climb one of the world's highest passes. Some good riding, some good off-road riding on this awesome machine that I'm just, yeah, I really like it. And then to come down into the Nubra Valley, wow. Ah, oh, man, I've never seen anywhere that can change so quickly environments from the marshy type water, waterways to sand dunes to shaly cliffs. It was just amazing. One of the best days I've had. Hey, dude. Hey, you want to say hello? Ooh. Hey. hey, hey. And yeah, all along the way, the same thing, the friendly people. I had the motor a bit more that I probably would have liked. Bit of a late start, but got in at what, 6.30, so it wasn't too, it's not too bad. It's not too dark. Um, gonna go check out this guest house here. Seems like there's a few other riders and vans and that. See if there are any rooms or beds available. Uh, well, they had one room left. Um, was one of the more expensive ones. It cost me about twenty bucks, but I mean, I'm sure I could find somewhere cheaper, um, somewhere in the village. But at this stage, I just want to have a shower and something to eat, get a good night's sleep. Got a big day tomorrow. Got to ride back to Leh and then jump on an all-night. Um, Taxi back to Manali, so good night's sleep will be good. So yeah, this is the room. It's pretty nice, but here's the coup de grace. Um, the most remote village I've been to in India. That's one of the best bathrooms. <laughs> that I've had. I don't normally talk about that sort of stuff, but that's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna have a shower, something to eat, go to bed. So, I'll see you guys soon. Ciao. <laughs>